Okay. All right. Let me just press record here. Okay. We are I, live. I think Welcome to BLT Living. Welcome to BLT Living. Hi, Jerry. Hi, How are you? Christy. How are you living your best life today? I have been having an amazing day it's raining but i still went out into my garden and i call it my secret garden and i have mock orange white flowers that smell like uh neroli um pure essential oils it's so beautiful and i have new dawn uh pale pink roses growing up trellises wow. and yes they're and we have our new brand new um, one-year-old roses just starting to bloom so everything in the garden is gorgeous so I'm living my best life and my puppies are happy and they got to go out with me even though we were in the rain and it's Friday <laughs> so I'm happy and I'm with you so uh, I love it that's that Virginia weather where you can like when you showed me your garden I was like I'm in Toronto and I thought wow like everything is flourishing you know yes. And this is actually a, a little bit different. Um, normally, it's actually pretty normal for us that, to have this kind of weather. It's a little bit cooler. It's been in the 60s this week. But last week, we had 85 degrees. So yeah. it's very unseasonably warm until this week. But we're just happy to kind of have a little cooler weather to get the garden, you know, the vegetable garden and everything going. But it's really nice here. And what about Toronto? What's the weather like oh. out there? Oh my goodness, you know, it's it's been tough. April's been kind of rainy and gloomy. We had a couple of days where it was super warm, like short weather, you know, skirt weather. And it was like, but I'm we're, this morning it was like cold and I still have to get my, my winter jacket. But um, but I was able to actually do a little plant today. So got, got something done. So got this little cool plant, which is, uh, I know. I don't know beautiful. what this is, but it just looks cool. Yeah, I think it's a Philodendron, and you know what's going to be amazing? Keep it close to the sun, okay. water it every few days, and you're going to have vines that grow down and down and down. And then you can cut some of the vines, put them in water, let them root, and have more babies. Ooh, yes. okay. I can't, I can't believe you know the name of this yes. plant. Okay. <laughs> I think that's well, what it is. It, 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 it makes sense. You, you are an educator and, a, and, a, and an expert when it comes to all things history. So, you know. Well, I mean, I'm learning. I'm always, I will always forever be a student and I love to learn, but gardening is something that I'm learning every single day and I love it. And because, you know, nature and the seasons, you know, we have to go with the flow. And I think that's one of the wonderful things that nature teaches us is that every day we should live in the moment and go with the flow, whether it's rainy, sunny, windy, stormy, we're just going to live our best life I and live in the moment. Love that. Right. This is a good way to kind of transition into our little channel and, and why we're, we're even doing this. <laughs> right. right. I love how you just said living your best life because that's what BLT living is all about. Right. You know, how exactly. are you living your best life today? Um, and I guess I'd love, I guess maybe it'd be a good, good idea to just kind of tell people how this started yeah. and what are we but, doing right now here, you know? How you're living your best life today, Jerry. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the way, how am I, first of all, I'm wearing a suit. It's a Friday. You know, things are going well. But, you know, yesterday the Toronto Maple Leafs lost, so a lot of Torontonians are dealing with the aspect of, like, trying to figure out how to beat Tampa Bay. But personally, you know, I had a sandwich in the morning, had a nice little exercise, so I'm feeling on top of the, on top of the moon, and I think I'm most happy with the fact that we're actually live and recording, and, like, we've been planning this for a while, and it's happening. It's, we're here. We're here. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, yeah. I have a little, um, I guess, I guess maybe you would like, um, we, um, the next place to kind of start is, is how this all began, right. you know? Exactly. Yeah. And who brought it together and how we got together and, and the, our origin story uh, for BLT Living. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I guess, you know, we have a mutual friend in common, right? Yes. Uh, um, Melanie Moore. Yes. She's the one that connected us and, She's an a <laughs> <laughs> and it also, it all started with. Just a, a um, just tapping, right? You know, across already for for um, five days, right? Yeah. Wasn't it five days? Some it was like a five day right. tapping challenge. Yes, exactly. And uh, and basically, what Melanie Moore does is she works with um, emotional freedom technique, which is tapping. And so apparently, 
um, she started with a prosperity party for five days and we learned how to tap and she did a we did a decluttering challenge so we had to clean out something like a closet a drawer yep. i cleaned out my room credentials a drawer and it's still organized uh, mostly and i do need to do a few tweaks but apparently what decluttering and space clearing does is helps to open up new pathways yeah. and new opportunities new doorways for and for you energetically yeah okay so i'll let you keep yeah and, and I and I like the way you said it, you know, you create a space for, right. for some, and, and decluttering was something where I was like, oh, is that really the first thing that I should do? Maybe I should get something done, build something. But then when you declutter, you just create that space and you welcome the next thing that's going to come into your life, you know? So um, it's exciting. And, and then what happened is uh, Melanie connected us yeah. and it, it's funny, this is how it it all started because um, we, they, she connected us and we started meeting kind of every week right. and, As a group. And, it, and, it, and it grew into this. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, we've been working for what, about a year now, over a year, over a year, probably? over a year. And, and um, every we met, we tried to meet, we did our best to meet every single week. And, you know, just through thick and thin through crazy schedules. And we've come to today. And preparing for today. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, we, we, we wanted to start this uh, this little show in the spirit of um, not only living your best life, but how are you guys living your best life? And as we started getting to know more about each other, we realized we had this passion and love for food. And yes. <laughs> at first it was like BLT sandwiches. And then it's like, wait a minute, it's, it's, it's about living your best life today. Right. You know? And, and, now, and, now, and now we're, we're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. Well, we're on Google Meet. We're going to upload it on YouTube. Wins, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, we're going to be meeting every Friday at 1230. And just kind of, uh, just not only, well, we have, we have a, uh, quite a bit of surprise for you. I don't want to give away everything just yet, you know, but you're here, you're, you're BLT living. And I, I kind of want to tell you guys why, why we did this. You know, I think that'd be kind of a good place to, to transition into it because from, from what I know, Christy, you've benefited tremendously meeting every week and just kind of, because you did something big over the past year. You did something special. <laughs> yes. And, and I, think at the, I think us meeting every week was a big part of that, you know? I, I did. And so, um, yes, I worked, uh, I started a music project um, back in 2001 before I had my family. And so um, I worked with a wonderful producer up in Vermont, Will Ackerman. He's a guitarist and producer and former um, founder of Wyndham Hill Records. Wow. And so I, many, many years ago, recording it, what was first a demo and turned into more than enough songs for an album. And so I raised two baby girls <laughs> and a family. And now one is off at college. The other one is getting ready to start um, transitioning to graduate into college. And so graduate high school to college. So I figured it was time. Yeah. So when I had accountability or started that prosperity party with Melanie, and she put us into an accountability group, that's when I met Jerry. And um, we started becoming accountable to each other. And we started to work a small goal or two or three every single week, which we can talk about in a minute, and worked towards um, a main goal, smaller goals, little baby steps to a main goal. So I finally have um, finished my CD and on April 6th, uh, released my very first song. We're doing a waterfall strategy release, which is one every month or every few weeks. And we started with Leap of Faith, and I'm now on Spotify as a verified artist and have the website up, and I'm just excited about everything. Unbelievable. So, um, yeah, it's yeah. really, really been an, a journey. And I'm so happy, Jerry, that you and Sincere have been a part of my journey. Absolutely. Well, I, and that's what's so exciting. And, and Sincere is my, my girlfriend, by the way. And, um, you know, it, it's amazing. We've been meeting every week, and like, you published an album. Like you're a, you're a musician, it's like, and I've got to see this journey. And you know, with me, I, I did a lot of big things in the past year when it came to real estate, construction, startups, recruitment, HR, and it was just how am I going to get a little bit closer to my big vision? You know, when we met for that prosperity party and we created a vision board, and it was just kind of, can we take these small incremental steps? Yes. 
And it was just amazing what was accomplished just, just because we met consistently, held each other accountable, created the space of support, and also just, you know, got things done every week. Yes, you know? every week. And, and sometimes it was hard, but we kept you know, plugging along and supporting each other and saying that is so awesome. And, you know, if we didn't get something done, we'd say, okay, we'll move on to next week and we'll do our best to get that done. And, you know, just by taking those little baby steps and checking it off every single week and moving that one task over, you know, we were able to get a lot done. And so Jerry, I was thinking maybe you could tell us a little bit more. Um, I think these accountability groups and um, having these vision boards are wonderful, wonderful tools, right? But there's a sort of, um, there was a, an author, yeah. Napoleon Hill, right? That's right, Napoleon Hill. Uh, Jerry, tell everyone a little bit more about Napoleon Hill and his tenets for living your best life and working towards living your best oh. life. Oh, I would I would love nothing more than to talk about Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. So a lot of people know this book, you know, he, the Napoleon Hill, when it comes to manifesting some incredible things, but also Napoleon Hill coined the term mastermind. And it actually, I actually wrote down the, his definition of it because I was looking at different, like, I Googled what mastermind is, and then I found his definition. And it's it's so perfect because it encompasses what we've been doing for the past year and kind of what we want to accomplish here with BLT Living. And so a, a mastermind is the coordination of knowledge and effort between two or more people who work towards a definite purpose in the spirit of harmony. And I got to tell you, that's exactly what we've been doing every week. We've been vibing, we've been getting things done. And then listen, sometimes we come back the next week and we didn't accomplish our task and, and that's okay, you know? Right. Jerry, can you say that again? I have mastermind. Def definition is the coordination of knowledge or effort of two or more people, and then after that, who work in harmony oh. in the spirit of. Yeah. So, so let me let me, let me try that again. Sure. Uh, the coordination uh -huh. of knowledge and effort between two or more people who work towards a definite purpose in the spirit of harmony. Purpose. In the, I love that. I know. Oh, it's so because uh, I wouldn't have defined. I wouldn't have thought that's how it's defined. But that's exactly what it is. It's it's two or more people meeting every week, having some type of common purpose, having some type of common goal they can get, they can hit, and then in kind of in that spirit of harmony is is also important because we're here to support each other. We're here to help us get to where we need to go, and and maybe even have some fun doing it. You know, we, we always we, have fun doing this. Always have fun. Always. <laughs> and so um, I think that, you know, basically uh, having two or more people to, to be accountable to, you know, trying with, you know, starting with every week really helps to oh, helps an individual or can help an individual overcome sort of that fear of just getting started. Right? Yeah. You know, that um, just sometimes for me, I was always thinking I would find every reason to not start, right? And I would have my list, okay, I need to do this, I need to do this. Um, but then I would think, oh, I don't know if I can get that done because it feels so overwhelming, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. to, just the example of this CD, it was huge, you know, and I thought, oh, all the, the music is always huge, you know, getting the production done, the musicians and recording, travel, everything. But you know, you think, oh, yay, the music's done, but then you still have the artwork, the CD, setting up websites, things like that. So it's all, there's always going to be something. And when you, people, you know, I, I know that people that own businesses realize that, you know, there's always something on the list, right? And it can feel overwhelming. Yeah. But I think what happens is these accountability groups help, help you to not feel as overwhelmed because you're accomplishing, trying to accomplish one, two, three, maybe three tasks at a, at a time in a reasonable amount of time so that you can get something done. And then yeah. getting these, you know, it's sort of like you're chipping little bits off, right, off the block and to create whatever beautiful thing that it is that you're trying to manifest and create. And so, well said. you know, that is just one of the 
best tools, having the accountability group um, and knowing that, you know, using the tenet of, you know, this mastermind from Napoleon Hill, let me write um, his name there, Napoleon, um, I can't spell today, Hill um, is the author. We're creating resources in the fly. This, uh -huh. is, this is the beginning of something special. And grow rich. You know, I have that book. And my mom and dad gave that. It was in their collection oh. when I was young. I was a teenager, and I just happened to grab it, and I read it many, many, many years ago oh. as a teenager. You yes. read it as a teenager? Wow, that must have yes. been that must have been really valuable. Very, that very, 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 yes. And so, so, and you know, my parents were always, are, you know, my father has since passed away, but my mom is still here. And the, the lessons that they always taught me, you know, one of the lessons was to always be positive and know that, you know, if maybe, you know, sometimes we work towards a goal or um, something that we really want, and maybe things don't always work out, right? Sure. So instead of looking at, at it as a failure, per se, where, where many of us can do that, you know, a lot of us can go to that dark place where we don't want to go um instead of looking at something as a failure look at look at it as something that okay that didn't work but we're going to try something else right we're going yeah. to redirect so failures can be sort of a redirection and move into try something else until it does work right so we're learning along the way and we're learning lessons we're learning you know they could be even be life lessons yeah but we're learning along the way and so, um, yes, so there's the book. I put it in the chat. Um, Napoleon Hill is the author of Think and Grow Rich. And I also added the definition of the mastermind. So, you know, I, I think, um, you know, I'm so grateful for Melanie Moore having brought us together through the tapping. And Jerry asked me at one point, how did I start to tap? And it, um, there was a time when I was having a hard time sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. So I started good. Thing, you know, little maybe sleep techniques on YouTube. And I found Melanie and there was one sleeping video and I started doing it and I started sleeping so much better, which was life changing because when you don't sleep well, it can be very bad for your daily life. And mm -hmm. so I started getting a lot more done because I was sleeping better. And I found that her technique was really working for me. So for me, she was my angel and my godsend to have, um, you know, learned a new um, resource and technique to use in my daily life. So I use it for other things, not just sleeping. And so but how I met Jerry um, through Melanie's, you know, tapping class, as he mentioned earlier. So, yeah, and I think it's just a wonderful resource that, that you know, of many, many resources that we'll share with you during BLT Living. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely, and you know what, what's what's exciting is that um, I, I used to, like I, I was a part of one mastermind before, and I remember how helpful it was not only to just assign a task to yourself and try to get it done, but also have a community of people that you can talk to and if, and just get some support from you know. And as we just did some incredible things over the past year, we we decided to have some other have some other people involved in this as well you know and we just want to kind of spread this little message of what we're trying to do but also um you know every week and uh, the way we go live here on fridays um we do have a bit of a theme when it comes to food so um that is the ex what we're, we're what we're going to be doing uh, actually every week because you know we are going to be assigning a little task to each other and we are going to be trying to accomplish something every week but we're also going to be running a couple of little challenges uh because it seems that we are pretty, pretty, pretty awesome cooks, and it looks like there's a lot of there's a lot to learn between the both of the between the both of us when it comes to food and just living your best life. Frankly, yeah, absolutely. And um, I see that we have. Um, let's see, Mensapna joined our our live today, so we just want to say hello, and I sent you a wave. So um, thank you so much for joining us on our first, very first live episode of BLT Living. So we're uh, excited yeah. on, on the call today. And, and thank I you. actually have, um, there's a gentleman that joined, Sarah Van, and uh, this is, um, this is, this is a, a guy that I met um, when I was a kid. And uh, it was one of my, it was, uh, like, it was, uh, that was a long time ago. So just seeing people that, that you know, that are in the past and are here, it's, it's exciting because, um, my goodness, you know, this is, I think for, for, for us, it's the first time being live on these platforms. So, you know, the more the merrier. 
Right, it. exactly. And um, maybe, uh, Jerry, if you can um, maybe share um, how you and I are going to use, how we can help others understand how to use the accountability group as a very strong resource for getting your goals, getting to your final goal and accomplishing your tasks to get there in the baby steps to get there. Um, we, we're mm -hmm. going to have a special challenge. So I'm going to let Jerry tell you a little bit about that. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, first of all, this is National Bacon Lettuce Tomato Month, BLT <laughs> Month. <Okay>. So <laughs> it, it, we, we decided to launch in the spirit of this big national event. And, you know, what, what, one of the, what are we, we going to be doing every week when we meet up is, you know, we're going to be running little challenges um, to make sure that, um, you know, we actually accomplish the task that we give ourselves. But when, when it comes to creating bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches, you're kind of looking at two experts right now, folks, you know. And what we're going to be doing um, next week when we come by, we're having a little challenge, and, and that challenge is to make a BLT sandwich or whatever variation of a BLT sandwich um, that you love. Everybody's got kind of their own little, little flavor, their own little way. And I'm going to work on one. And Christy's going to work on one. And we're actually going to have a little, um, we have a little accountability group on using Trello where we assign a task. And then when we meet at the end of the call, we're actually going to be able to accomplish it. So um, the first challenge for BLT living is to make a BLT. And um, the folks that are here, are, I think you guys are on the first episode here. So this is special. But um, next week, we're going to be trying to accomplish this challenge. And then every week, we are going to be holding ourselves accountable. But we also want to find out, you know, what you guys are trying to accomplish next week. How are you living your best life today? And if, you know, if you want to have a try making a BLT sandwich, uh, or sometimes we're going to, you know, it's going to be, we're going to get quite uh, diverse in our food choices and the things that we're going to create. Um, as we come from two different worlds when it comes to food and culture, and we both have a lot to learn, you know? <laughs> and as we're meeting every week and accomplishing these challenges and really going outside our comfort zone to make certain dishes that we don't know how to do, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to take a good, good old college try. We want to hear how you guys are trying to accomplish your tasks and your goals. And, hey, if you want to join us on a challenge and make a little BLT sandwich or make a, a little dish that we're all making, that's what this is all about, because with food, it, it connects us all in a way. And um, we just want to share that message and share that with everybody, you know? Wonderful. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a way that they can share. Um, Jerry, could they, if they create a video of their BLT challenge to share oh, with us, yeah. could they send that to our Instagram account as a DM or in a DM, do you think? That, that would be incredible. That would be okay. incredible, you know? And, and that's, that's the whole point of us doing this, you know? We... Um, are living our best life today, but there's all, we also want to know how you guys are living your best life today. And, and if um, with the whole point of us doing these challenges is to do it together, you know, because I'm going to make a BLT sandwich, but at the same time, I want to know how you guys make your BLT sandwich. Do you guys make your own mayo? Maybe what kind of bacon do you use? Is it maple? Is it crispy? You know, so all these little, so absolutely, if you guys, uh, we would love to sh see from you guys a video um, your, your best attempt at this, and, and we're going to try our best this week as well, and, um, and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, and um, so ultimately that is, we'll use the food example, um, the food challenge, uh, accountability challenge, as the example of how Jerry and I, mm -hmm. um, you know, will accomplish tasks every single week. And I put up on here, Trello is a wonderful task resource. Um, Jerry, is that Trello.com? And I could put that in there? Absolutely. Trello.com is what we use. You know, it's a free service. Um, it's, it has kind of like a Kanban board where you can assign tasks. Um, and we're going to be sh showing you guys more of what we're doing because 
it's really that simple. It's just like, a, it's, we all have goals. We all have these big visions or somewhere we're going to go. But it's about taking these baby steps, just taking some type of action towards achieving it. And if me and you, Christy, were able to do it, anybody can do it. Yes. You know? Absolutely. Okay. So, all right. So accountability group equals baby steps, right? Toward Absolutely. Your, um, your goal. And, and um, my goodness, I am, I'm so happy we finally went live. You know, we've yeah. been planning, we've been procrastinating, we've been trying to figure this out, <laughs> and now we're here. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm already blown away that there's two folks here. And, and next week, we just hope to kind of create a, an atmosphere of, of positivity, accountability, but also kind of going with that flow and just, you know, uh, taking, getting, achieving your goals one baby step at a time. You know? Yes, I love that. And I, I just okay. We also have Josh. It's my um, boy, Josh. Mar that's that's Josh. Uh, yeah, okay. and and he just joined. So it's so exciting. I don't want to leave because more people are going to be joining. But know. you know, this, this is a show. We got This is the, this is DLT <laughs> living. And if you're here, stick around. Every Friday at twelve thirty, we're yeah, going to be going yes. live, telling you not only about how we're living our best life, but how everybody else here is living your best life, and also showing you guys how we're able to go forward and get things accomplished with baby steps just to these accountability um, groups and just by able to just having a little mastermind, you know, and hopefully, hopefully some other people will benefit from this as well. Yes, absolutely. And, um, oh, <laughs> Josh said, toast the bread. Yes, toast the bread. <laughs> yes, yes, I know what he's referring to. You can't, sometimes you make a BLT and you don't toast the bread. And, and. I know, well, but with, I know with Jerry, you love like your traditional wonder bread, your white bread. Yes. Um, Josh, what do you love? Because I love Wegmans is a um, sort of an East Coast um, grocery store chain. It's a wonderful sort of gourmet grocery store. And they make the best garlic Tuscan bread. So it's like a big bowl mm -hmm. and it's soft. So with the soft bread, if it's fresh, I won't want to toast it because it's so fresh. It's almost oh, like you just, no, no, no. but any. Any other time, if it's a sourdough or a traditional white bread, it's got to be toasted. <laughs> Hold on. I work at Wonder Bread now. <laughs> Josh, you work at Wonder Bread? I love it. You got to you you gotta wrap your brands. I love it. <laughs> well, that's the thing, because you're right. No, it's a good point, because like the Wonder Bread is very nice, because when, when you toast the Wonder Bread, it's beautiful, and it's just kind of like got a nice one. But right. sometimes you got, you got a nice focaccia, you got like a nice bread that's soft, and you just... You want to feed, you want to taste the bread, you know, yeah. brioche is a yes. brioche yeah. fire. Yes. I was going to say the same thing, Josh, brioche and see, I don't want to tell you my secret because I don't know, maybe I'll do this as a different challenge, but I was going to do one with the brioche bread also. <laughs> oh, listen, I, I'm going to bake my own bread and make one as like, this is the beginning of something. Okay. So we, we can't just give it all up in the first episode. Here. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, okay. I'm going to challenge you, Josh. Josh, you're going to have to um, create a BLT Living, your very first accountability food challenge. <laughs> what did you say? And Villaggio. Oh, I don't know what Villaggio is. Villaggio is like, it's like Italian Wonder Bread. I see that because <laughs> both me and Josh are in Toronto. So we don't have Wegmans or okay. the cool, you know, uh, the cool stuff you have. So we just go to the grocery stores and they have, they have like the Wonder Bread and then they have the fancy like Bellagio, which is like Wonder Bread, but it's like, it sounds all Italian. So it's like, there's a perception that it's fancier, but it's all the same stuff, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. So, with the challenge. <laughs> okay. We got the challenge set. Yeah. Um, I know I'm going to make a BLT. You're going to make a BLT. Josh is going to make a BLT. And we're going to come back next week on Friday at 1230. And we're going to... Um, we're gonna we're gonna see if we accomplish our tasks, and then in the spirit of food and these little challenges, um, hope, uh, you know we're gonna that's that's this is what accountability and masterminds are all about. Now it doesn't have to be food for everybody, you know. People, okay. some people want to maybe write a song, some people want to achieve a certain goal, um, but hopefully in in you know we've had so much success doing our little masterminds and accountability right. that when we show you, then we just want to kind of use that theme to show you how you can really get to anywhere you want to go if you meet up with one or two more people, have a common goal, and in the spirit of harmony, try to accomplish it.
<laughs> Josh said he's got to go. Josh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Um, I, th I think we're almost at the end of our show as well, because okay. we usually we do it from like 1230 to 1. That's where we're going to be. Yeah. yeah. And we also had um, Matt Sapna joined um, earlier. So if you're still on the call, we just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope that you'll be able to join us next week at 1230. Um, and we'll we'll definitely confirm on Instagram, which is BLT Living, and um, we'll post this to our YouTube channel as well. So thank you so much, and we just hope you all are going to live your best life today and this weekend and every single day, and we'll see you next Friday. Jerry, you want to say anything before we leave? Oh, you said it perfectly. Thank you for showing up, and I can't wait to see you guys next Friday at 1230. Thank you. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye.